Laura Riding Jackson and her husband, Skylar Brinkerhoff Jackson, moved to Wabasso, Florida as a re-beginning in lives filled with literary, political, and personal turmoil. Laura was a highly regarded but controversial American expatriate poet, story writer, and critic who had lived abroad for many years in partnership with the British poet and historical novelist Robert Graves. Graves and Riding had been forced by the Spanish Civil War to abandon their home in Majorca and had been living a nomadic life in England, Switzerland, and France. Schuyler was a poet and critic for Time magazine. When Laura and Schuyler met in 1939, the converging thoughts they had exchanged for several years through letters turned to love. Laura and Schuyler were married on June 20, 1941. Two months earlier, they had purchased a dilapidated 1910 Florida homestead in small citrus grove. They had found a place where they would be left alone to pursue their dream of creating a new dictionary for the English language, where they would, in Laura's words, be left alone to be, left alone to do. The grove is in a neglected state, was not fertilized this year, and not so many fruit have set as last year. Growing things in the summer is difficult here, but we have a scarlet runner bean vine just beginning to climb the outhouse a cypress vine just beginning to climb the porch, an inherited beauty of a hibiscus, our pride, in front of the house. To support themselves, Laura and Schuyler labored on their gift fruit business, which had hundreds of loyal customers throughout the United States. Years before the environmental warning sounded in Rachel Carson's book, Silent Spring, the Jacksons became alarmed by the first incursions of widespread chemical spraying in citrus groves and kept their own groves pesticide-free. When Schuyler's ill health forced them to close down their business, they wrote each customer an apologetic farewell. Intensely private, the Jacksons were cordial to their neighbors, but socialized little and only on their own terms. Eventually, Laura and Schuyler relinquished their dictionary project to undertake what they felt was an essential preliminary. This was the more fundamental task of defining the underlying principles of language in a work they entitled Rational Meaning, a New Foundation for the Definition of Words. Suffering ill health for several years, Schuyler died suddenly on July 4, 1968, but with the work more than half finished. Laura completed the manuscript over the next six years with the help of fellowships from the Guggenheim Foundation.